previously on Nerd Block. Introducing Sci Fi Block. Oh shit, there goes another 20 bucks a month. And now. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chrono Play's Sci Fi Block. Yes, this is the new block from Nerd Block. Basically, it's like Arcade Block, but sci fi themed instead of video game themed. Well, let's jump right on in then. And we get, first up first, a Funko Pop. A, is he actually a bobbly head? Holy shit, he's actually a bobbly head stormtrooper. A first order stormtrooper. I have no idea what that is. Is this from the new Star Wars? I would assume so. Yeah, I mean, Ray, Finn, Kyo Ren, BB-8. That's the only thing I recognize. Um, yeah, so I would assume that uh, this is from the new Star Wars. So we got a, a bobbly head uh, star or <clears throat> stormtrooper. Yes. So are stormtroopers supposed to be good in the new one? Or are they supposed to be bad in the new one? I don't know. Whoop. It's a rattly bobbly head. Interesting. Okay, set you aside. Put that away. Then we have a shirt, which we always have a shirt because that's what part of what nerd block is. Oh, are you kidding? Biff's pit bull hoverboards. I get it. Okay, that's actually cute. I like that shirt. <laughs> it is a nice shirt. Uh, very well done. Kind of thin, but not bad. Not as thin as some of the other blocks that we won't... Other uh, blind boxes that we won't name. So, I like that. That's cool. We have a Star Wars beer cozy. Yeah. Alrighty then. And it's definitely The Force Awakens, so, uh... You know, I was wondering if this was going to be the Star Wars block or the Star Trek block. I knew one of them was this month and one of them was next month. I couldn't remember. But apparently this one is the Star Wars block. Though I seem to remember something about uh, some specialty item from, um... <clears throat> Firefly. It's supposed to be in this block. Maybe that was the next block. Not 100% sure. What do we got? We have... A certificate of authenticity. The certificate accompanies an item bearing the authentic signatures of Claudia Wells. So, <clears throat> the cute chick from Back to the Future. That was uh, Marty's girlfriend. That's actually kind of cool. All right, so that can be added to the uh, very small signature collection that I have. Mostly right now it consists of Robert Picardo. Okay, moving along. <clears throat> we have Star Wars Mad Libs. Includes six, or includes stories from all six Star Wars films. So, not the new ones, but the old ones. The original, the prequels, and that's about it. I may play them with my nephew someday. Maybe not. Oop, there is a thing that I almost lost. It is, oh, it's the, it's a chibi pop vinyl uh, Matt Smith doctor. It's cute and tiny. Oh, oh. It's a keychain Matt Smith mini pop vinyl with his hair going wild. Mm, go on, get off there. That's cute. If I didn't have too much crap on my keychain already, I'd actually use this. That's going to end up somewhere. I'm not sure where, but that's definitely going to end up somewhere. All right, moving along. We have an advertisement for next month. Next month, Sci-Fi Block is bringing you an intergalactic item from Firefly. Okay, so that's next month. I knew it was this month or next month. Uh, you can also expect some out-of-this-world items from Star Wars, Pop, and Star Trek exclusive and more yeah it's about right 
All right, Biff's Pitbull hoverboards or hoverboards off the ground. Okay, so I could have gotten that one there or I got that one there. All right. Claudia Wells autograph. Uh, did she actually sign that or is this a replica? And she has graciously personally signed this exclusive sci-fi block print just for you. Okay, that doesn't answer that question. It was was it actually signed or was it just a duplicate of the signature? I don't know. Uh, Star Wars Mad Libs, Doctor Who Keychain, so you could have gotten the 11th Doctor or the 13th Doctor. Yes, I just said that, and yes, oddly enough, it is accurate. <laughs> uh, Star Wars Episode uh, 7, Can Cozies, Beer Cozies, whoop, drop it. And uh, first ever sci-fi block, and you opened it. Well, it's a good thing you did. This cardboard walls could barely contain all of this awesomeness. So I could have gotten a bunch of vinyl pops. Could have gotten the, the little robot that everybody's going ape shit over. C-3PO, that new guy that we're not 100% sure if he's good or bad. Uh, Rebel pilot. I would assume he's a New Republic pilot in the new movies. And then a stormtrooper with a shield? It's the stormtrooper with the shield, but there's no shield. Hmm. All right. Interesting. Whatever. All right. So, as tradition dictates, we must put things back in the box that uh, I don't really give a crap about. Beer cozy? Yeah. Don't care. I don't drink beer, and I actually kind of like my soda warm. As weird as that sounds, I don't drink my soda cold. I'm weird that way. Star Wars Mad Libs, back in the box. Because, you know, who cares about Mad Libs? They're, honestly, they're kind of boring. I don't even think my nephew would enjoy them after this. After, you know, they're kind of old-fashioned. They're kind of boring. Uh, the Bobbly Head Stormtrooper. To be perfectly honest, I like the style of the new Stormtrooper. Obviously, if his helmet was uh, dark helmet-sized, then I'd... Well, actually, I'd probably laugh my ass off, honestly, but I wouldn't like it. But the chibi design of this is cool. I like it. So I'm going to keep it out. I'm going to put it somewhere. Don't know where. <clears throat> chibi Matt Smith, he's definitely going somewhere. Not sure where. I'm going to have a collection of keychains that I never use, aren't I? Signed picture of Claudia Wells. Yep, that's going to go up. Like I said, that's going to go in the collection with the... Uh, Robert Picardo, who, I guess technically it's not the only thing I have signed, but it's the only thing I have signed from celebrities. Outside of that, I have things like uh, comic books and stuff like that. And, of course, I like the shirt, and it's extremely rare that I put the shirt back in the box. And, you know, I like the shirt, so I'm going to wear the shirt. So it stays out of the box, too. So that was Nerd Block Sci-Fi Block. Oh, wait. No, it wasn't, because I got something else along with this that I didn't know had existed. I got a brown box. No idea what's inside of it. Don't remember seeing anything about getting an extra item with Nerd Block. Did not come from the same address, like the same return address. So I have no idea if it's actually from NerdBlock or not, but the, the little stickers that, of course, I peeled off because I don't want you to see my address. Um, the little stickers were the same. I had the same information on it and everything, so I would assume this is from NerdBlock, and I haven't ordered anything, one, that would come today, and two, would come in a box that looked like this. So I'm very curious to learn what is in here. So let us open this. Wee, hopefully it's not anything I just sh shredded in half because I opened this with a pocket knife. Ugh, come on, okay. So, what is in the box? It is cardboard and a UPS return label. So let's throw that away real quick. It is bubble wrap. Seriously, they ship me bubble wrap. I'm not kidding, they ship me bubble wrap. 
Oh, I bet you I know what this is. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Okay, so, not from NerdBlock, even though the small n stickers were the same. Uh, that must be something that they add, uh, that you or UPS adds when they shift stuff, because, like I said, the numbers and letters were exactly the same. The box that is just cardboard is actually for my Verizon uh, cable box. I canceled my Verizon service, like, uh, yesterday? Actually, yes. I canceled my cable service yesterday, and they said they would send me a box to ship back my Verizon box in. Wow. <laughs> All right, so that was the sci-fi block and a little misunderstanding with a giant cardboard box that I didn't know what the hell it was and Matt Smith doesn't want to stand up anymore. Stay. And I don't know if I'm going to keep the sci-fi block. I haven't decided yet. I will think about it. I mean, like I said, I canceled parts of my Verizon. I just have internet now. I don't have TV or phone, which saved me literally. I'm not joking when I say this. This is not the figurative form of the word literally. This actually literally saved myself $100 a month on this bill. So even with sci-fi block, I'm up, you know, 70 bucks a month. So I haven't decided yet whether I want to keep the sci-fi block or if I want to get rid of it. Um, I guess if another episode shows up next month, we'll know. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.